Hello friends, welcome to my channel, or back to my channel as the case may be. We are up to day 58 of our 1001 tarot spreads. We've been making good progress. Today's spread is the soulmate spread. It answers the question, will I find my soulmate? This is for the people who are having trouble finding their loved one. And something I will specify about soulmates that doesn't always mean romantic love. Sometimes your soulmate is a best friend, your ride or die friend. In today's media, we typically talk about soulmates as if they are only romantic, but that's not always the case. So that being said, it's a six card spread and we're gonna get right into it. For this spread, I will demonstrate it using the Wisdom of the Owls Tarot again, as I'm really enjoying the art on it. And we're going to do a quick rundown of the cards and the orientation of them. So the cards in this spread are arranged in a roughly heart-shaped spread. You'll see that most of these are yes-no type questions, so the reading is it, it's more of a, is this a good idea, is this a bad idea, for each of the questions. Card number one is, should I stop looking and just wait for them to fall in my lap? Card number two, should I try online dating? Card number three, should I join a face-to-face -face singles group? This might be church-related, this might be a, sh a social club, something that puts me face-to-face -face with other singles. Card number four, should I join new activities? This could be joining a hiking group, a board game club, a sewing group, a crafter's guild, something to put you in contact with more people. Card number five, should I change my role at work or relocate? Statistically, most people still find their significant others at work. So it's a valid question. And card number six, will I meet my twin soul or settle for someone nice. While that is the question that they put in the book, I don't particularly like that question, so I think I'm going to modify it. Do I need my soulmate, or will I be just as happy with a good fit? I think that's a better question, because as human beings, when we're trying to find the perfect fit, we often get hypercritical, and it can be very difficult to then act on anything. All right, so we're going to shuffle the deck and we're going to get into these cards. I am filming in a slightly different place in the room, so we will see if I did my angles properly so that you can still see my face and as I shuffle the cards. Ooh, that camera's a little too far away. Let's see, can I wiggle it closer? <laughs> there we go. So, card one, card two, card three, card four, card five, I need to scoot those up just a touch, and card six. Okay, well first off, lots of reversals in this spread. So card number one, again, answers the question, should I stop looking and just let them drop in my lap? The three of wands reversed leads me to believe you should still keep looking, but be prepared for some emotional upsets. The three of wands is about seeing the path ahead, knowing where you're going. The journey's already begun. You have a goal in mind. Being reversed, it's that you can still get there, but it might take a little longer. You might have gotten a little lost in the weeds. Card number two, should I try online dating? We have the High Priestess reversed. The High Priestess is feminine authority. It's feminine instruction. It's the wisdom of the feminine divine. Being reversed, I don't think online dating is the right solution. I think you will be better served trying to find someone in a more organic face-to-face -face method. 
Card number three, should I join a face-to-face -face singles group? So these would be like those single dinners, single mixer type things, speed dating events. The card is the King of Cups reversed. So the King of Cups is emotional regulation, specifically masculine emotional regulation. It's a man who not just regulates his emotions, but processes them. In this case, being reversed. Again, that doesn't seem like the best solution. That seems like a way where you're going to come across a lot of duds that are going to be emotionally damaging before you find someone who's the good fit. Card number four. Should I join a new activity? This is our first card that is upright. It is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is about sharing, about passing down gifts and knowledge. In this case, this seems like a very promising sign. By joining some sort of activity, you then have a built-in reason to talk to people, and you get to see them in a variety of environments before dating or romance is even in the picture. An important thing to note on this card is we have an older owl passing on, in this case food, to a younger owl. Joining this activity group also provides the opportunity to get wisdom from those who have more experience than you. Make friends with those of multiple age ranges because they will spot hazards and green flags as well in a way that you won't because of their differing levels of experience. Card number five, should I relocate or change my job? We have the Eight of Cups upright. This card is about distance, about seeing those things that are empty in your cups and choosing to leave them behind. If your job is getting in the way of finding a healthy relationship, then it might be worth relocating. If it's not, then it's up to you. Don't, don't worry. I mean, it's always up to you, but don't worry so much about it. This card really kind of gives me the impression that the job has less to do with finding the right person than the other parts of your life. Card number six, will I find my soulmate or should I find someone who makes me happy, someone who's a good fit? This is the tower reversed. Tower is quick changes, it's disaster. I think you need to redefine in your mind what a soulmate is. Is there only a single possible soulmate? Or are there many people who have the traits that would be a soulmate for you? Do you need the perfect fit? Or do you just need someone who makes you happy? Just some things to consider. That is my demonstration of the soulmate spread. It is number 58 out of our 1001 tarot spreads. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like. If you've got any questions or if you disagree with any of my interpretations of the cards, let me know in the comments. I always love hearing how other people interpret the cards because it is a very intuition heavy field. And sometimes we get entirely different feelings off of the art of a card. That being said, until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.